progresses. This is your trigger warning. Hi, folks. Welcome back. I'm going to give you fair warning now. I'm going to completely lose my on this article. I am so pissed, I can't even tell you. I live in New York State, upstate New York, way away from New York City. But my governor and my assembly and state senate has passed new gun laws, basically in retaliation for Supreme Court's ruling that the way New York issues a concealed carry permit is really ridiculous and way, way over the line. It's unconstitutional. Well, our governor, Hochul, unelected governor, Hochul, has just lost her mind concerning Roe v. Wade and then this. I mean, they're just, they're just losing it. So they threw this together. Let's see. Let's read on to this stupidity. New York approves gun law requiring buyers to provide social media handles. The law struck down by the Supreme Court say that gun owners would have to demonstrate proper cause to receive a concealed carry license. It's the only right we have in the Constitution, according to New York, that when you go to exercise that right, you've got to show a cause why you're exercising it. Can you think of any other right? Here's the problem. Fundamental difference in reality Conservative people, constitutional people, the rights are given by God, not government. And, of course, the Democrats and the progressives think rights are given by government. Democratic Governor Kathy Hochul signed a new gun bill Friday after the Supreme Court ruled last week that the state's rules would make it difficult for residents to obtain a concealed carry permit were unconstitutional. And they were. She even called a special section in Albany, the state capital, on Thursday for an extraordinary session to build, to work on the bill in response to the high court's decision. The highest court in the land said no. And she says, well, I don't care. We're, we're going to do something else instead to make it impossible for people to get a concealed carry. Let's, let's see what we have to do now. The new law required people to purchase a handgun license to hand over a list of social media accounts they have maintained over the last three years so officials can verify character and conduct. Now, a background check by the feds takes less than 72 hours. How long are these media checks going to last? According to the measure, applicants must prove they have the essential character, temperament, and judgment necessary to be entrusted with a weapon and use it only in a manner which does not endanger oneself and others. There isn't a state in the union, including New York, that has this kind of background check, say, for a driver's license. You have a several thousand pound bullet that you're in control of. I remember the, the uh, Christmas parade. Where's the background check for that? A vehicle's a deadly weapon. Sometimes they're telegraphing their intent to cause harm to others. Well, then, you know, that's just the way it goes. That's what the background check with the feds is for. Unbelievable. Is it just me or she give you the damn creeps? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Individuals applying for a license to carry a handgun also be required to provide four character references and take 16 hours of gun safety training and two hours of shooting practice at a range. They will be subject to periodic background checks and will have to turn over social media accounts. And here's the, here's the other kicker. Contact information for all adults living in the household and all their social media. Now, this is the thing. She knows it's not legal. She knows that. But she's going to do it anyway because it'll take months and months and months to go through the courts. And she's up for election in November. I'd say re-election, but she was never elected. Now, let's take a look at what it's going to cost here. What is going to cost the average person to comply with this BS? I did some checking. Just averages now. Nothing, you know, outrageous. Just averages. 
hourly rate for firearms instructors. I went with 25 bucks an hour times 16 hours is $400. And then a hourly range fee of $20. You got to have that, right? There's another $40. It's $440. Plus the, God knows what they're going to raise the, the application for the concealed carry is going to be. And God knows what other fees and taxes they're going to put on it. But we'll just save for this for now. That's $440. It's going to be closer to $500 in the end. And on top of that, even a lower-end handgun is around $500, the lower end. I'm not talking about an AR-15 or anything like that. The lower-end handgun is between $450 and $600. We'll say $500. So you're looking at $1,000. Now, I'm a low-income single mother. In fact, that's the biggest percent now that are applying for concealed carries and gun permits in the country. That's the demographic. Young suburban women or single-parent women, low-income, that live in dangerous neighborhoods. So these low-income single mothers that the Democrats say they love so much where the hell is that person going to put $1,000? You got one or two kids, you're a single parent, you're screwed. Where are you going to put $1,000? It's, it's just amazing to me. And then you jump through all the rest of the hoops. Four references? Wait, it gets even dumber. I mean, let's take a look at some of the other regulations in here. You're going to laugh your asses off. Licenses will be renewed after three years, and an appeals process will be established. How much is that going to cost? Another 400 Under the law, concealed weapons will be inhibited from a number of areas, including Times Square, which is a public place. Can't do that. Subways, another public place. Well, maybe technically they might be state or city-owned. Buses are also city-owned. Bars, which they have no right to do. Government buildings, yes. Churches, they don't have the right. Schools are a government agency. Libraries are a government agency. Playgrounds usually are. Parks and homeless shelters. Most of those are government run. Firearms will also be barred from private establishments unless the business owner explicitly says that they are allowed. So you have to put up a sign. I had a convenience store for over 20 years in upstate New York. You're going to have to put up the sign that says you're concealed carry right to carry a firearm i'll allow into my business that's like putting up a sign saying well please, you know if you don't put up a sign that says please don't shoplift that gives them the right to do it and for, here's the deal i have a concealed carry uh, handgun on me i go into a private business it's c- concealed you morons it's concealed why in the hell would I say anything? Were well, they going to ask every single customer that comes into a store, oh, are you armed, sir? Are you armed, ma'am? These people are nuts. Absolutely insane. Businesses must post a sign granting permission to arm, to arm patrons. In many other states, businesses do not have, do not permit guns typically have to post signs indicating the firearms are not allowed. In a private business, you can put up a sign that says, No firearms allowed. I think it's dumb, but they have the right. But now you have to put up a sign, firearms are allowed. So you're going to get a whole bunch of customers, especially in New York City and some of the bigger cities in New York that are progressive nut bars that think, oh my God, this business allows armed people in there. I'm not coming in there. So it's going to screw their business. So of course, they're not going to put up a sign. It's just like the social media accounts. In, in places like YouTube and others where they shadow ban you. We're not taking away your freedom of speech. We're not taking away your right to bear arms and conceal carry. We're just taking away your freedom of reach, i.e. no one can hear you on YouTube and other channels. And also, you just can't go anywhere. 90% of where you can go, you can't go with a concealed carry handgun. But we're going to give you the right, though, after you pay exorbitant fees. Freddie's bill 
uh, altered a recently passed law that banned the sale of certain bulletproof vests. All the legislation failed, blah, blah, blah. It's, I really don't care about that. The measure is expected to face legal challenges from gun rights advocacy of the law still infringes on the citizens' Second Amendment rights. Of course it does. Of course it does. That's the point. She needs this to be law through November, which it will because she's up for election. Now we're going to, here's, I love this quote, by the way, GOP senator. They used to have the majority for a long time, even though the assembly network is run by Democrats. It's just in the last few years that Democrats slaughtered the Republicans because a lot of them are spineless. And now the Dems control, it's one party state. They control everything. A GOP state senator, Andrew Alonza, said, now we're going to let the pizzeria owner decide whether or not I can express my constitutional right. This is a disgrace. See, when the courts, a fire law will take effect September 1. See, they waited. They waited till September 1 because it'll take a while to go through the courts, which will go past the November election. These people are out of their minds. It's amazing to me. What's a poor single young mother going to do that lives in a high crime area that's trying to get out from under trying to go to school, even though she's getting public assistance, trying to go to school, trying to work part-time, trying to dig her way out. But she's in a high crime area. How is she going to defend herself? How's a 110-pound woman going to defend herself against a 250-pound man? There's only one way. Exercise your Second Amendment right. It's amazing to me. Absolutely amazing. So they're saying, well, since you don't have to show proper cause anymore, since the court ruled that was unconstitutional, we're going to make it almost impossible for you to get it now. And then if you do get it, 90% of the places where you can go is not allowed. And stores are going to have to put up a sign that says firearms allowed. And if there's no sign, you can't come in with one, which you will anyway, because the damn thing's concealed. Do you think criminals... I had to go buy a business and go, oh, gosh, you know, there's no sign. You know, we can't bring up my illegal handgun inside my jacket in there, rob the place, and God knows what else. I'm just going to have to go to somewhere else, I guess, till I find a sign that says firearms allowed. Idiots. Absolute <laughs> morons. I'd love to leave New York. I really would. But I've got a house here filled 20 years worth of stuff. My mother's still here in her 80s. It's not so easy to live the place you grew up in. But they're making it easier and easier and easier for me to make that decision. And of course, the courts will throw it out. And it will be long after November's election. I just hope that Zeldin, who I voted for in the primary, can beat her. It's going to be tough. This is New York. We're going to have to see. Until the next time. Goodbye, good luck, and God bless America.